I think this might be the best budget power station you can buy. What up, it's I from Ascap Solo. I like to keep solar simple, ain't no need to complicate it. <laughs> this GoLabs i200 was sent to me by the company and I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I think this might be the best budget power station for those who are like a little light on coins. Are you just mindful of your coins? We gotta be mindful of our money, you know what I mean? 256 watt hour device, not 300, but I won't nitpick. It has a 60 watt PD port that's bi-directional. So it can output 60 watts. And if you turn and you pour, plug something into it, it can take 60 watts in. That's really convenient. It also has a 30 watt non-bi-directional input. So that means you can output 30 watts to that. It has a couple quick charge ports, a couple 12 volt 5521 ports. It charges over 5521. They do include the AC charging cable, the DC charging cable and the solar MC4 charging cable. Man, don't get no better than that, right? Has a diffuse light on the side. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Diffuse lights are good. It's a good thing. Let me let me not trip. They say it's a pure sine wave inverter. It's 200 watts, not 300, but I mean, it's still nice. It's still nice, but it's a 200 watt inverter. But it's like some other ones have a 300 watt inverter in them. One interesting caveat that you need to know there is no button for these dc ports they kind of auto sense and then they turn on when they need to you turn a device on with this button right here instead of it being a button that corresponds to this one typically on the golab series at least the r300 that i have the power button is like somewhere over here oh, that's annoying <laughs> It's dead. I get it. Jeez. Yeah, this is the GoLabs R300. The power button is right here. AC is over here. DC is directly above it. That's directly above that. And then the light button is back here. I'm used to that layout. It took me some getting used to this button being here. This DC button turns this on and these 5521 ports on and the light button is right here. So it's a very interesting placement of buttons, but you get used to it, right? I have never had a problem with these ports. These ports work fine. The only one I don't test often is the type C 30 watt. I use a 60 watt all the time to charge it. And I use these USB ports to run um, a five volt lamp, USB five volt lamp, a five volt USB light bulb. I use this all the time, which brings me to another point. I like the form factor of it. It has a pretty nice slick size. It's not as big as some of the 300 watt. Wait, let me, let me just show you. 256 watt hours, not far off from this one, but look at the size difference. It definitely, you know, it's a little more compact than this one over here. So this one will make a good travel companion. I talk about this in another video, but I have this 60 watt kind of six fold out panel that's really travel friendly. And I like this one for using that one. Now I did discover some interesting things about charging, but I don't think it's, it was just me testing out, seeing if it would dual charge and things like that. I don't believe this thing can dual charge, but let's see. I've never tested this. If it can, that would be dope. So it reset its wattage output and it went to 24. So if this pulls in about 30 to 40, this gives it 60. It should be giving it about 90, but it's not. I think we got all the hardware out of the way. Now let's talk about the why I feel like this is the best budget power station. Let's deal with a little bit of pricing first. I don't typically like to deal with pricing because pricing fluctuates, but the I have seen this thing really affordably priced. Um, this one has been really affordably priced too, but when I do the math on these, this one comes out to be a little bit cheaper. I actually have some calculations I'm gonna put up on the screen and it shows how much this costs per watt hour. And I think it's like about 10 to 12 cents. I'm, just look at the screen. You could do your own comparison. Now let's talk about some other ones that come to mind. All right. Just the GoLabs i300, which I have right off screen. That one has pretty much the same features. It has a 60 watt um, bi-directional port, 30 watt uh, PD port as well. But some people have talked about and leaned toward myself included thinking about that GoLabs R150. That one does not have a pure sine wave inverter. It only has one 60 watt PD port. 
So once you're, the interesting thing about that is once you're using the PD port, you can't, that's it. You have no other option to use a USB-C PD. So if you're using the PD port to charge it in, which is very convenient if you want to power dump into one of these power stations, you're out of luck for any other PD port. So I like the fact that this has two ports. You think about something like the Jackery 240. <laughs> I hate to laugh at the device because the device is capable. Any device that gives you electricity is a good time. But this one is LiPo. That Jackery is not. I believe that Jackery does not have any of the advanced ports. I also believe that the Jackery does not have two uh, AC ports on it. I don't think it has it. I know it doesn't have bi-directional charging because the Jackery 300 is the only one that has bi-directional charging. But the Jackery 300, the cheapest I've seen that one is like 210 and that's really on sale. They charge $299 for that device, which is crazy. Bananas. Then there's also devices like the Sateki. Um, I own the Sevcoms. The Sateki stopped working on me. Uh, I got to the, I talked to Sateki about it, but they never reached out to me. The Sevcoms, 240 watt hours. The Sateki is about 240 watt hours. No useful information on the screen. This particular device has a useful screen. It's not as useful. It only shows the watts coming in and it does show the watts going out, but not when it's charging. When it's charging, that's the default. It does not support dual charging or anything like that, but the screen is actually useful. It gives you five bars. That's cool. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't give you a percentage, but you know, whatever. But the other ones only have five bars and they cost about the same price. So I think this one might be the best budget power station if you just want to get something out of the door that can give you some power, charges at 60 watts, uses the generally used 5521, can also be charged over USB-C PD, has LiPo in it, has a diffused light on it. I mean, it, it, it's just a, it's a nice little device, man. Is there a better device out there that you know of? Please let us know down in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about that one as I... Hello.